I'm really, really sorry, but I lost your friend. I kind of... It was an accident. <laughs> it really was an accident. It's, it's, it's more like, you know, he was caring so much. I'm really, really sorry about that. I did lose your friend. I promise you, I will bring you a new friend, okay? Because you are one of the few animals here that actually are able to... Woohoo! Woohoo! Make gold out of poop. Yeah, out of shit. I give you shit, you make gold. Not solid gold, but liquid gold. The black gold. You're making oil. Hi, my name's Toby, and I'm a campfire clown. This here is a campfire. This is a clown. You don't look too excited. Ooh, now you're excited. Jumpy, little jumpy. So, another mission. Get, oh, wait here. Get another. The dung beetle is indeed an inspiration. You literally feed it shit. Give it some time and in return you get oil. One man's trash therefore can be another man's treasure. I want somebody to talk to. That's the problem. I'm alone. I don't have friends right now. I need somebody to talk to. Uh, that's the stuff I do when I'm alone. I want to have my snail back. Where's my snail? Where's my snail? And yes, I lost one. And yes, it was an accident. The little beast ran away and was eaten by something or drowned or I don't know. But we need oil for gasoline and we need gasoline for the generators. So I have to go and get some more of those oil refining rascals. So oh, Slurpy, you gonna come with me and slurp around? Yeah. Oh no, 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 I forgot the thylacolios. Ah, come on, Slurpy. This island seems to get the better of me, gathering resources. Hello, Thylacolios. Spending hours in the breeding pens, building, tearing down. Good. And rebuilding the pens. Good, it's gonna be a lot of meat. Uh-huh. Do we have any mutations here? Ow, ouch, ow, ouch, 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 ouch. And each and every corner I touch. Did Who's this? There's more Hello. shit to be discovered. It doesn't look like mutations. This is not nagging. No. I'm literally talking about feces. Because... Ah, it's gonna be a nice feast. Let's phrase it like that. Way too brutal. I was stupid. Again. In order to be prepared for this cave... Gonna bring a baryonyx. Hope it'll work. Eight thousand in health. A lot of damage. Here, eat that. Oh wait, if you eat chocolate, you're healed up immediately, right? Woo! -hoo! We're gonna take chocolate with us. Ah, uh, you can't carry anything. You're so weak, but pretty. Besides the constant threat of being torn to pieces by a sharp-toothed terrorist. The problem with you is I cannot carry you with an Argentavis. Edgar will take care of you. Starvation, suffocation, dehydration. I think it would be a smart move to place a couple of beds on here. Hypothermia and hypothermia. Because sometimes I'm stupid. Life on this island. There's all the good stuff. This is like amazing fighting pants. I had a couple of those. Has its own particular way to traumatize me on a daily basis. I see! Somebody took the liberty to take all my fighting stuff. Interesting. In addition to an external turmoil, my companions and me... Have that back here, you can have the broken one. ...find excellent ways to test and extend our patience on a daily basis. Nice! Okay, give me back your fighting gloves. 
Thank you. Lying on the floor there. Unfortunately, okay. I have to admit that most of my struggles are carefully crafted me healing stuff. by my own insufficiency. Food. Thank you. And served with a nice cold side dish of stupidity. I'm going to fly there with Carlo. Carlo the Carno Crusher. <laughs> I was so creative with the names. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Carlo the Carno Crusher. Why? Because he crushed the Carno. Okay, Edgar, gonna follow me. Chill, Edgar. It's gonna be a nice flight. It is as it is, though. Ah. And we are trying to survive. Oh, cool flying scene. It looks so nice. Tum 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 pow. Edgar, what you doing? You going crazy? Chill. You do have a very valuable payload. I think it's down here. As everybody has their own way to handle things. There is a pinky jelly Cutherium? Is that your name? Is that your right name? I realize that the majority of my mistakes. What you doing? Hey, I was just looking at you. No, 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 no. Chill. Chill your nuggets. Could have been easily avoided. What is it with you? With a little bit more patience. Throwing poop at me. Focus. Ha-ha! But you did not expect the strength of Carlo Carno Crusher. Ha-ha! And concentration. Ah, see? That's what you get. But in all fairness to myself... Stop following me, Edgar. You chill here. My environment gives me more than one opportunity. Okay, are you on passive? I don't want you to die out here. To be distracted. The fascinating fauna and flora... If there's any danger, you just fly away. Leave me mentally stunned in amazement. Are you gonna be following me? On a regular basis. Fuck! Combine this with poorly controlled companions. What are you doing? And you find yourself... Don't follow me! ...within a daily cycle of chaos. Here, stay here. ...to overcome. Chill out. And you? The challenge seems to be to make the best out of it. You're gonna defend yourself. The hell! And going back to the dung beetle inspiration, the trick might be to find a way to turn metaphorical feces into mental and mundane. You're not supposed to be aggressive. Fulfillment. And maybe, just maybe, it is already happening. Ah, oh, now you picked a fight with a turtle? Maybe all the shit around, in front, and within me. And now. Ah! Oh can be processed to something useful. It can't be level 180. Basically, it should tame you. What is it with you? That I just don't see. Maybe this world I am stuck in gives me all this shit, and I just don't realize yet how to process it into oil. Uh... Are you listening to my whistles? Are you? Are you? Can you please be passive now? And chill? No, you're not listening to what I'm saying, huh? A mindset like this could even help me to realize... Okay, I'm stupid. ...and process the opportunities around me. Knowing that there is room for improvement, that there are a lot of things to learn and internalize... You're just looking for trouble here! ...very often, even right in front of me basically pressed into my existence. Stop it now! A simple and easy start might be to try to understand my environment. Why are you... And basic principles of action and reaction. Taking into account that the world around me... Okay, I need to get you out of the danger zone. ...doesn't necessarily act and react as I would is driven by different desires and motivated by miscellaneous motives might even give me a better understanding. Attack my target, okay. So where did Edgar go now? There, amazing. Of my own actions. Yeah, Edgar, stay there. 
gonna pick you up later. And you put them into perspective and give me the chance what? to see additional opportunities. Ah, I think you're not listening to group whistles, right? To find the shit I need and process it into my oil. Now stay here. Or just give me a little bit more peace of mind. You don't even have a name. You know what? I'm gonna call you Johnny Winter. Winter. By being able to at least comprehend why things are the way they are. Which again would be a great foundation for patience. Into the cave. Focus. With fast steps into my despair. Uh, and demise. Uh, look at the beauty here. And concentration. Yes. Tip, tip, tibbly tip, tibbly tip, tibbly tip. We are looking for a beetle. A nice little poop ball bug. Okay, which way to go? Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. I want to have a poop ball. That's going to be my friend. Oh, can I see something here? No, I don't. <clears throat> That's absolutely not frightening here with all those weird sounds. <gasps> it's bats, isn't it? Oh no, I should have brought antidote. And they're fighting. Oh, no, I need the... Oh, they're strong. Yeah, I'm gonna get the rabies. Am I not? Stop it, you little... Oh, no, I'm webbed. Hey, Johnny. We did a pretty well good job here. Basically, you did all the work. And I was just sitting there and complaining. Okay. Um, more... Weird sounds here. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Those are the armor breakers! We don't want to get into trouble with them! Uh, don't shoot at us! No! 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 Hey, 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 hey. Focus and concentration on obvious challenges usually leads me to a new chapter. Unveils. Okay. And there is a poop ball. New opportunities. There is a poop ball. I already see a poop ball. That's good. That's really I good. just have to grab. You need to heal up real quick. Johnny Winter. Ah, you know what? I'm not going to panic about that because as soon as your health is way too low, I'm going to feed you the chocolate and you're going to be happy. I'm going to feed you chocolate. And could use to our benefit, but there is a bat. They're usually... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Is a butt. Oh, we made somebody really angry. That's a big dinosaur. Uh -huh. Megalosaurus level 150. This is something that is predestined to be tamed. If it wouldn't be so angry with us. Sorry, sir. We annoyed you while you were sleeping. I absolutely can understand that. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Ooh, la, 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 la. There you are. Little poop As a general finding from earlier fatalities, I have to admit that I could improve my own performance by better preparation. As a carpenter has to measure twice to cut once, I'm gonna go put poop into... That's a really high level... <gasps> I should have brought... I seriously should have brought... A cryopod. I maybe should take more time to analyze the aspired actions more accurate. There's another dung beetle. Woo! You're the first. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna bring you outside. Stay there, Johnny Winter. I'll be right back. You're coming with me, yeah? All right. Seems like you have ideas on your own. Righty right then. <clears throat> Gonna bring poop ball out here, this poop ball. But we want to have more poop balls, right? Right. Greed and gluttony, in general, are awful advisors to me. Combine that with a lack of attentiveness. Mm. That was bright. And you get yourself a nicely seasoned stew of stupidity. So, you're gonna stay here. You'll get a friend soon. You're following me. 
Stop that. Stop following me. Ah, now I get it why nobody is reacting on my calls because I had the wrong tame group. Okay. And usually it is insight that eventually prevails, although it tends to come too late. Let's go back in there and get the second poop ball. Maybe that is why they say that hindsight is a teacher that delivers its lesson after the exam. Is it still there? Where did it go? And a sobering reminder that foresight is a rare gift. It was here! Oh no, it's angry with me! Oh god, I'm so stupid. Wait, maybe I can... Wait, you guys are angry, huh? You don't, you don't want to be my friends now. Here, I have poop for you. I really have poop for you. Okay, maybe if we go away, they will lose interest. Let's just go this way. I think we messed up the poop ball situation. And now we have a lot of poop balls being angry with us. Don't be mad. Ah, okay, now you're dead. Maybe they are just angry that we stole one of their friends. You're a really good level. I would love to have you for breeding. Ah, we can't breed you. Okay, then not for breeding. Uh, okay, then we're gonna look for another poop ball. What's happening over there? Is that bats? Looks like bats. In the scorpion. Foresight usually is based on a certain amount of experience. And while I would see myself as an experienced survivor, I still seem to lack a sufficient amount of foresight and situational oh. awareness. Is this like in the, the ice cave, where you jump in the water and you're instantly dead? That, again, needs to absolutely unnecessary risks. Web. I'm web. Sometimes it is extraordinary hard for me to judge the possible consequences of my actions. Ah! Uh, come on! And I usually wish for a little bit more foresight. That, again, would require a better risk assessment and preparation. There's a snake. I know somebody that wouldn't be happy to see that. Although I think Francis is over his snake phobia. No, 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 don't shoot it! Ah, crap. Neglecting this significantly increases the probability of frustration. This is not fun. Failure beyond fixing and fatalities. Oh no, 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 I ate the I ate the chocolate. No, the baryonyx should eat the chocolate. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. It died. Johnny Winter died because I was stupid, and now I'm. Run, 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 run. No, no, no. Stop it. Stop. Leave me alone. How can I be so stupid? I just started to like Johnny Winter. Ah. Everything broke. Well, at least I have full health now because I ate chocolate. Ah. Well, at least I have you. I have to be honest. Okay. I never fought one of the guardians on this island. We are currently preparing to fight the brood mother with megatheriums, and that will be my first boss fight ever in this world. A huge spider with a thousand legs, millions of eyes, and a special taste for intruders, guarded by venomous spider minions, starved to desperation, guarding her obelisk till death. But I cannot imagine that any of the island's guardians are stronger enemies to face than what I have to go through every time I fail so unnecessarily. This is annoying the crap out of me. The mind-eating insecurity, the self-devouring doubts of my own worth and value, the desperation, the dreadfulness, 
despair and disgust are eating me from the inside of my bones until they reach each and every vein and leave me stunned and startled, but restless and roving, eroded and embrittled at the same time. Bring cryopods. Seriously. Talk about a major debuff. Not cool. Really not cool. Just let me suffer from my own mistakes for a while. Floating without moving. Unfocused but concentrated on my own wrongdoings. Ah, uh, you know what the best thing is? I forgot the megatheriums! Ah! Uh, no! Okay, here. Do your thing. I'm gonna... I'm serious. I'm, I'm gonna bring you to to your friend. Uh, to to. I'm gonna introduce you to an, uh, another one of your kind. And I have to have a look at the megatheriums because most probably they are all grown ups now, right? In hindsight and from outside, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. We have many baryonics. Can breed a new one. We have two bugs now. We'll be fine. Not a big deal. Johnny Winter didn't even have a name before we got into this cave. No big deal. But facing myself is, and most probably, will be the hardest fight I have to endure. But, and there's always a but, there is hope. Room for improvement just means two things. Room and improvement. It's pretty simple. I just have to become a decorator, a designer, an interior architect. The tools are there. The means are available. Maybe I should wear a shirt. The time is free. I have to start to value the lesson here and there, internalize it and utilize this room for actual improvement. Hello there. And it all can start. See? You have a friend now. With patience. You happy about that? Focus. Ah. And concentration. The power is off! 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 See, that's why we need you guys. That's why we need you guys. Because we're running out of gasoline and that's why we need your oil. We do have the means to create an environment for my companions and me. We can grow stronger. We can manage to ascend from this island. Well, yeah. <clears throat> there are a couple of things to think about, huh? You know what? Maybe I should write a diary. One day, I might be good enough to lead us there with the help of my friends. Until then, I can use every day to better and improve myself and prepare us for the ultimate challenges lying ahead. <sighs> Where's the bird? Where are my anger issues? I do not necessarily have to do this alone. There are people around me that are willing and able to help. They might be busy right now in this particular moment, but I'm confident that when I ask them, they will be happy to help. Well, here I am and can sit and write a diary. And whenever I see myself as the literal shit I feel after failure, Ah, my anger issues shed on the table again. I can remind myself that with a little bit of time, the shit can be turned into oil or gold or whatever we might need. Oh crap, I forgot about the Thalicolios. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, no, you all grown up? No, you're not. Okay. Uh, any mutations here? Uh, don't grow up too fast. Okay, run away. All of you, run away. Before you're a real danger. And you stop reading, please. Okay, you're not even ready. Okay, screw the diary. I'm gonna go back to my campfire. And you, Slurpee, you're gonna come with me, right? A little Slurpee. Okay, that feels much better. So sometimes, something as little and seemingly insignificant as a dung beetle can be the key 
to something greater.